Hello everyone, my name is Alex M. I'm an engineer here at Immunity, and today we're going to be taking a look at Canvas Strategic. Canvas Strategic is an add-on for Canvas that gives you some capabilities around collaborative pen testing. So for example, let's say you have a team of like five to ten people, they're all working on the same project and you're the manager. What you can have Canvas do with Canvas Strategic is each operator's Canvas can connect up to a central viewer and then as the manager you can see what each member of your team is doing at any given moment. So the easiest way to demo this is to not talk about it but just show you how it works in action. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to start Canvas Commander. Uh, this is, you can kind of consider it the manager view, uh, if you will. So it's a brand new GUI, it's something that uh, was written just specifically for Canvas Strategic. And there's not a whole lot to do just at the moment, so let's go ahead and start up an operator. Now I'm going to do this from a separate virtual machine. It happens over the network. Uh, if you need encryption between, for example, an operator and the commander, uh, then the best thing to do is just uh, negotiate some SSH tunnels and be done with it. It's fairly simple. So now that we've got this copy of Canvas, it is in fact a standard copy of Canvas, right, for all intents and purposes. However, it has that little extra part of Canvas Strategic. So let's go ahead and configure that. So I'll put in the IP address of the commander and I'll give myself an alias. I'll be Alex M, the operator. And now I'll go ahead and start the operator. And here we are. So from the operator standpoint, uh, let's just say I want to go ahead and uh, let's say I want to join a chat room specifically for a project I'm working on. That's fairly simple. Just join the chat room demo. Make that my active chat room. I'll go over here as the commander. Open the chat channel here. And let's just say I want to type some messages to, uh, to, to my operators. We'll do the same thing as an operator. And it works essentially just like IRC. That's how it's been modeled. So if you're familiar with that, um, it's a very stripped down version of, uh, of IRC. So let's go ahead and look at the log window for right now. And we able, we'll be able to see what kind of events Canvas Commander is processing. So for example, we can see uh, I, joined the, uh, the, I joined my commander network. Uh, we can see my operator alias, Alex M. And I can see all my actions are attributed to me. I joined the demo group. All right, so let's go ahead and start taking some actions with Canvas. So I've got a particular host that I may be interested in. And you can see that updated target is now reflected in the log window. But this view is going to get actually better and a lot cooler once we start doing stuff. So let's go ahead and I just want to kick off a very quick port sweep. And I'm going to just pop over to Canvas Log, change it to port 445, and we'll leave everything else. So in the log window, I can see, all right, port sweep started. But what if I want a little bit better view? I can actually view what I call the operator dashboard from within the Canvas Commander window. I can see, essentially, what the operator can see. So for example, just by this view, I can see I'm running port sweep. Uh, against this particular IP address. If I look at history, I can see, all right, this is my running module, and it's just actually succeeded. Knowledge, I can see some of the uh, results that I've gotten. Interfaces, as you'd expect, I can see the uh, IP interfaces for uh, my particular operator that I might have, any listeners that they have started. In this case, I don't have any quite yet. So let's go back to map. And now let's go ahead and use an exploit. So I'll just choose tried and true MSO8067, just as a quick example. Say OK. If I pop back here, I can see again, the dotted line means the module's in progress. Now that it's finished, it disappears. And once my shell starts, now I have the standard blue Windows 32 module. And all of this, again, is reflected in the log. So the log is actually very good um, for maintaining accountability uh, on you know, a training exercise or even an operation. 
And it's going to come back and be very important a little bit later. You can see timestamps are here, everything that you need to maintain a record of what went on. So now that I've done this, let's go ahead and do something that I would normally do um, as part of a, a pen test. I want to grab some password hashes. So I'll click on my node, just run get password hashes. And again, I can see now this is in progress. And I can see some of the module output, for example, I was in services.exe, I will have to migrate to LSAS. Let's take a look at the history. I can see the modules that I've run. My listener shows up as universal most deaf. Now, interestingly, if I click on uh, the remote node, I can actually see its IP interfaces. Uh, in this case, there's only one, uh, so it's not multi-homed, it's just got the one host. And now I can see, all right, my, I was successful with get password hashes. If I go back to history, that's reflected there. If I come back to my map, my node is returned to my original color, uh, blue for Windows 32. So the next neat thing uh, about Canvas Commander and something that it does, it's pretty cool with logs. So let me go ahead and just close Canvas. So my operator is going to go away. I'm going to close Canvas Commander. And now let's go ahead and reopen it. So this is actually a really cool feature. I can, in fact, replay my previous session. So I'll go ahead, I'll open this up. Now, what replay is, is just a replay of the logs. No traffic is generated. This doesn't recompromise hosts for you. But what it does do is give you an opportunity to step through an operation with members of your team so, for example, if there needs to be feedback or actions need to be corrected or mistakes were made, uh, you have the ability to page through each and every step that you took with Canvas. So, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go through my first steps. I'll leave the log window open just so we get a better idea. We can see that I've joined. I uh, sent a couple messages. My ports sweep and see this is all, again, recounted. Uh, in the GUI as it was. So if I go and I click on my user, I can see, yep, that's exactly as I would expect it. Uh, so at this particular moment, this is how the GUI looks uh, uh, during the operation. If I go forward a little bit, I'll see my shell start up. There we go, now we're running MS8067, there's my shell. If I come down to the log window, Again, I've got good accountability here. Operator, my alias, the time I did it, um, this is all brought through in the logs. So we're really excited about this tool. Uh, we think it's going to change the way a lot of our customers do business. and A lot of our customers may conduct operations or training exercises. So if you have any uh, technical support questions, please feel free to reach out to support at immunityinc.com uh, for sales inquiries, of course admin at immunityinc.com. Thank you very much for your time.